Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're taking a look at the Surface Duo emulator that was just released by Microsoft. So, um, this is obviously running Android, as was expected. However, this the, the emulator that, that was released is obviously, it's an AOSP build. That means that there's no Google services. If you've ever used AOSP, you know exactly what to expect. If you haven't, then... Um, not really. So take a look at the apps that are in here. If I could just get this up. Um, it has Edge. It has SwiftKey Beta. And it has Microsoft Launcher. And it has Launcher Settings. Now, that's it. The rest of them are stock Android apps. These are not Google apps. They are stock AOSP apps. And um, they don't really work. And they're not going to show up on the Surface Duo. Obviously, Surface Duo is going to have... Um, they partner with Google for Google Apps, so they'll have the Play Store, and then they'll have Chrome and Edge, they'll have Docs and Word, they'll have Gmail and Outlook, and that's just how bloat, bloatware works. Um, but yeah, so these are the apps that are on here. I've tried using Edge, um, it doesn't really work. But one thing that I'll draw your attention to is the animation that happens when you open the app drawer here. We can see, if I can keep it open, which is actually very hard on this emulator. You can see that the three icons that are in that bottom dock move to the other side of the screen. Now, that's pretty cool. I mean, it is what it is, but it gives you access at all times, assuming that you don't have apps open on both sides of the screen. Now, let's bring that back. We can see that it moves one screen at a time. If we scroll over, we have our um, Microsoft Launcher stuff over here. By the way, I tried signing in doesn't work. Um, I tried signing into Edge, and that actually did work. Um, it'll, it'll let you sign in, it'll let you click through all the options and setting it up, and then eventually it just crashes and stops working, and that's all she wrote. You know, and, and, I, and I can't get it back open. If I keep trying, it's going to end up saying something like, you know, that, that Edge keeps crashing screen, do you want to close it? Whatever. Um, we can take a look at other apps just to kind of see how the UI works because that's what this is really all about is how the UI works. This is all the, like the notification shade and the quick settings. That's all AOSP stuff and that, that'll change, right? Um, now, if I open, say, weather here, which has me in Mountain View, which is where Google's based, we can see now if we go to the multitasking screen, we can easily switch it to the other screen by just dragging it. Um, that's one way that, that it'll work. We can also, if we try to, to launch the app again, which, um, struggling with a little bit because it's, thinks I'm trying to, anyway, um, right. We'll have to do that from the home screen because it's not, it switches, anyway, it switches screens if you try to, uh, launch it on the other screen. There doesn't seem to be any way at this time to go full screen, which is going to be a thing, but if I drag it. I'm trying to drag it. There we go. Uh, if we drag it, if you try to leave it in the middle, it's not going to go full screen. It's just going to want to go to the other side of the screen. Um, I'm guessing apps need to support that individually. And if there's an app on here that does support that, it's going to be Edge. And sadly, Edge just doesn't work. Um, here's our Microsoft launcher settings. Um, you know, Usual stuff. See, here's the thing. What what Surface Duo is actually going to look like when it ships is somewhere between the Microsoft Launcher Preview app that's out right now. You can use it on your single screen phone, and this, which which shows us a little more of the gestures and UI that we're going to be able to use on this device. You know, if we go into settings here, there's not a lot there to look at either. It's just there's a Microsoft section coming soon. I'm hoping that there is another. Um, emulator that's that's coming soon like say let's see we can get a look at what what dual screen is going to look like i'm hoping there's another emulator that's gonna gonna come uh february 11th february 11th is when the surface neo emulator and sdk is coming out and there's going to be a microsoft developer day so that's going to be pretty cool it's going to be um well, it's going to be interesting, right? We're, I'm going to have a hands-on with Windows 10X, and obviously uh, Windows 10X is what runs on the Surface Neo and other foldable and dual-screen devices, and then Android's what's running on the Surface Duo. So Microsoft kind of has to get those things to work together, and they probably want a somewhat similar experience between them. 
See now it's I'm I'm having trouble working with the with the gestures. I mean I'm not on a touch screen or anything. I'm just trying to control this with the mouse. But yeah, so you notice there's those those six icons, and if we clear this, it goes back to three on each screen. You can't use more than three icons in a dock at, at one time. If I do, it just bounces back. That's probably because it, it, it's a much smaller device than running this emulator on, on a 32-inch screen like I am right now. Um, and then, of course, they have to be able to combine into one screen. So um, one, once we do that, you know, that now we're looking at seven or more icons in one dock. And that, like anything that you're seeing here, that it could all change at any time. So that's about it. That's what we got for the Surface Duo emulator at this time. There's going to be a lot more. Like I said, what you want... What you want to do right now is kind of imagine a combination of this and the gestures and, and the animations that you're seeing and the Microsoft Launcher preview that's out right now, which you can try out on your device. So that's it. Hopefully I'll have, a, I'll have another one in a few weeks on this because hopefully when they release that Windows 10X emulator on February 11th, they also release a new Surface Duo emulator. These products aren't due out until holiday season, so obviously there's a lot of stuff that's unfinished. And there's going to be a lot more to come. So stay tuned. We'll be following it closely the whole way. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.